Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Are we already in the new normal? Is it the next normal or are we living in the next frontier? I don't know what world you are living in currently, but the last couple of years for us have been one of the hardest, especially in the business front. And it's not even being made any easier uh, just simply because of the coronavirus pandemic of 2020. All right. So there's an economic theory that uh, says this. Our capitalist system relies on the ability to continue to expand. We no longer can expand without wars or unethical trade agreements with underprivileged societies. Therefore, we will fail. All right. So now we've done everything we can do, you know, to upset, um, you know, even the Taliban and anybody else you could think of. We've done everything we can um, do unethically, trading chocolate and, you know, people are even trading babies and, um, you know, there's a whole lot of bad things and I can even feel um, the hairs at the back of my head, you know, raising, just talking about this. But it's not what I'm here for. I never dwell in stories like this. I just want us to focus on what the new frontier is. Because as a coach, consultant, and small business owner, you want to know uh, what you need to do in order to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And as you have noticed, you know, things like this can just come and whack your upside of your head um, if you're not anticipatory um, that uh, things might uh, go bad or go sour at any given moment. So I want you to know that anticipatory minds, they don't ask about the new normal, they forge the next normal, okay? And this is what I want you to do in order for you to be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. That is not going to be affected by the next pandemic, the next lockdown or whatever comes our way, all right? Those who actually subscribe to the theory of, you know, our capitalist uh, system relying uh, on its ability to continue to expand uh, on the planet we live in, live in what we call a closed system. Everything is abundant, all right? There's enough of everything. If you notice things that we fight for, are things, um, you know, that have no value at all in life. When we were locked down, we noticed that if you had clean air to breathe, if you had abundant water, um, you know, and if you went outside for sunshine, all of the things that are for free, Ah, in abundance. You would never question whether the sun will rise or will go down again. It's only man-made things that we fight for that eventually lead us to thinking that the world um, is, is coming to an end or is scarce, all right? And people who are living in a closed system would never create businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Because they're always believing that there are only so many resources available out there and that our population um, is going to consume them. And the more we see a bigger population or as our population grows, this to them means that the increasing population will have less and less and less. And it's not their fault because we have been told to want more, be more, have more without actually going back into our own selves to find out what it is that we're actually here for because we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. And the more we do work that matters for others, we then can actually have a happier existence and eventually have businesses that are 
profitable and enjoyable. So I want to let you know that you are never going to run out of dreams. You're never going to run out of failures. You're never going to run out of enemies. You're never going to run out of suspicions. You're never going to run out of fear. But on the other end, you're also never going to run out of clients. You're never going to run out of money. You're never going to run out of opportunities. You're never going to run out of a happier existence. All right. So this economic idea, well, obviously it has some truth to it if we're living in the world that we need. But we do indeed live on a planet with limited resources. Okay, as a as a company or as a nation, we can no longer expand maybe our borders across the continent. So that land is already limited. But if you look in Australia right now, there's so much land towards the center of Australia that hasn't been utilized. But yet people are clamored and surrounding themselves with mediocrity um, in and around the cities which no longer serve them. I'm not saying this, that people should move further out, but there is so much land out there um, that is in abundance. It only needs to be made uh, to, 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 to be a bit civilized, okay? And um, although we can no longer expand our borders across the continent, obviously because Australia is a waterlogged country, we are surrounded by the ocean, um, we haven't run out of space for us to all live a happier existence all right um i i don't know about you but as kids we when we heard about boom times you know it was men with adventurous spirits that went to the wild wild west and in search for gold and whatever uh, resources that were there you know the the, the the there was a fortitude of brains um, that thought they could make a fortune, but the people that made the most money are people that sold shovels instead of those people that were panning for gold or farming for cheap land, you know? However, these opportunities are no longer there. So what are the shovels that you are selling for those people that are scrounging around for gold? You know, there's a price for limited resources. And if you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you will be able to actually siphon all of this um, money that people are throwing around as a coach or a consultant. What is it that you can actually do to help people uh, make sense of the world around them? This is where you forge your next normal. Because you already know that whatever is happening has happened in the past and it will happen again. But Sally or John out there in your newsfeed does not know that. So as a somebody who has already understood where the world is and where it's headed to, what are you creating in order for you to actually um, siphon all this money that is being thrown around by people who haven't discovered that the world is an abandoned world to live in, all right? Even if they're talking about global warming or whatever it is, I, I don't know about, about you, but when I was growing up, I'm really confused why people are confused about all of this. We learned that climate is a phenomenon, a weather phenomenon that changes every 40 years. I mean, like, didn't people learn this in school? It, it was going to change. It was bound to change. But I think we're just holding on to what was because we don't want to, um, you know, in areas where it was hot, we don't want it to be snowing. In areas that was snowing, we don't want it to be uh, hot. Because if you look at places that were uh, like Namibia, that that was, um, um, you know, that's the Namib desert there. There's features and things that point towards the fact that that was once an ocean that has dried out. So who are we to want to hold on to all of these things, um, you know, and, and not create for the new frontier that's coming in? You know? Because obviously all the resources that we have thought we needed, they're going to spiral upwards until no one can afford the necessities. But we can create right now opportunities for people to then 
um, you know, make sense of the world around us, our content, our information, um, you know, our consulting, our training, our expertise, all of that stuff that we've been learning, preparing ourselves for what is coming right now. We shouldn't add to the negativity in the world, but actually be calling people towards us. This is the time we've been studying for all our lives. All consultants know that there's ebbs and flows in the economy. Uh, all coaches know that there's going to be, um, you know, times like this and these two shall pass. Why are we not taking advantage of this um, opportunity to actually strengthen our brands and grow our businesses just simply because we knew we already started all of this with NLP. We know how to create, um, you know, mind maps and, and maps around, um, you know, situations. And we know how to deal with things externally, internally, all of that stuff. What was the whole point of going to all those retreats and not shaving our armpits? If we can't, um, you know, be the leaders that we were training to be uh, moving forward. And we are now in the new frontier. And if you're a coach or consultant, this is the time where you 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 let go of your fear and you bring people towards you. Feel the fear and do it anyway. We are now entering the frontier that has been created by near zero cost electronic uh, storage, where it's ubiquitous um, to 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 having internet access. It used to cost so much. For me to be able to, to to broadcast my voice like this, this used to be such an investment. But right now I can just sit um, in my office and speak into a microphone, save it onto my computer and upload it onto the internet and voila, it's in your ears. The frontier of the information edge. This is what we've been training for people. Moving forward, those of us who can create valuable information and create easy ways, um, you know, to find this information will form new empires. Look at what Google did. Google is the largest in, in information powerhouse, but they create zero content. Facebook is the biggest social engine or whatever, but they create zero social media posts. Amazon is the biggest um, shopping center because they curated everyone's um, uh, shops and brought them into one big, gigantic shopping mall on the Internet. Yet the most amazing thing about this new frontier is that it has no physical limits at all. If people in your area are being locked down, you can, um, you know, start targeting people in another postcode. You are not bound by geography anymore. You are not linked to a brick and mortar store, um, which means if people can't walk past your store, then you can't um, reach out to them. We now have a potential for infinite expan expansion. Use your branding identify your target market globally, clarify that message and reach out using YouTube, podcast, blogging, whatever modality that ticks your fancy. We now have infinite expansion. Instead of us wandering and trying to hold on to whatever uh, old normal or new normal, let's forge the next normal, the new frontier of utilizing and leveraging the tools that we have, the knowledge that we already have in order for us to be, do, and have um, businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And in the process, we just so happen to be helping other people make sense of the world around them while we are accommodating their needs and solving their problems. And why do I say this? Because let me tell you something. The human race creates newer and more efficient ideas, um, you know, on the idea plane. I'm, I'm really trying to uh, tap into, you know, the, 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 the meta of everything else right now. And the available resources on the physical plane will be used and they will be conserved in many other ways. 
I think in physics, we all know that um, meta is meta because if, if it moves on to yet another form that it wasn't before, just like water, water can be ice, water can be vapor, wet water can be wet water that you drink, but it's still the same H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. So we can ensure that they are enough physical resources for everyone. We just have to notice that they have shifted, right? Instead of you wanting to uh, sit in, in, in traffic, you know, the resource of petrol that you're burning all the time, you can now use Zoom to connect with people. You still have the connection uh, that you had prior only you are not driving towards, um, you know, that 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 client or those people, but you can still connect with them. Do you think this is utopian or do you think this is airy fairy? No. Look at the ideas that have been created, um, you know, or that have, you know, enhanced humanity and created better standards of living for the entire human race. Ideas such as the printing press. The, the, the weaving loom. They issued entirely new standards of living for a lot of people. Yet even these do not compare to the potential of society in which the product is now measured um, against valuable ideas. When people created the paper or, or the printing press, that's how people used to get information. Right now you just wake up and all the information in the world that you need is at them. Uh, you know, is at your fingertips. You don't have to walk out to go and buy a newspaper or have a paper boy come and throw a newspaper at you. But back at the time when that was the time, you know, the newspaper was very vital as a way to link you to the world. So what are we doing in order to utilize what is now available, um, you know, based on the new frontier? You know, from virtual museum tours to five-star curb pickup of a steak and lobster dinner some of these tremendously innovative ideas emerged out of the coronavirus pandemic of 2020 so with the help of application development or whatever apps that are out there ordinarily in-person business operations quickly pivoted during march 20 to combat the tremendous loss they were facing in the world because the world was shut down and if you're sitting there just waiting for your job keeper to kick in, my friend, I don't know what else what else I can say. You know, some people are moving into whatever you call the new normal or the next normal. Or why don't you just go into the next frontier, the next normal? The reality is that our world is now forever changed. If you're still hoping that things are going to go back to normal, then obviously if you're one of those people, I don't think you'd be listening to this podcast. Because the pre-coronavirus world is, 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 is not where we're heading. And I'm aware that it scares a lot of us uh, because change is something that we don't want. But these things have been happening for generations and generations. So if you're scared right now, it shouldn't scare you because the post-pandemic new normal is whatever we make it. We have an opportunity to start from an even slate because whatever was closed down is no longer serving us as humans and we can make it whatever we want to. And we've got all this innovation, we've got all these apps, we've got all of this knowledge that we've gathered throughout all the years that we can actually use to help grow our businesses and, um, you know, create meaningful experiences for those that we're going to be grabbing money from. We're always creating new things. Nobody just sits back and wait for things to go back to normal. There was a world war. There was um, two world wars. And now we've just come from this. No one is just sitting back and waiting for people to knock on their house's door and say, hey, Things are back to normal now. You can come out. Let me tell you something. Disruptions and change are inevitable. Whatever the coronavirus did, it was just part of a whole lot more other things that are coming. And we should have learned from it. Um, you know, um, uh, in, in terms of whatever 
disruption it came because it just gave us a shift in the status quo that was always heading our way. Coronavirus just amplified it. It was just more immediate and absolutely impossible to ignore, but it was on its way. You know? If you want to compare things that were inevitable, because when a time, when an idea's time has arrived, nothing can stand in its way. Remember that shift from personal computers to, to mobile de devices. That's a very good example of what has happened because we, we were holding on to the PC and the laptop, but then that shift came immediately when um, Steve Jobs stood in front of people and said, this thing is going to hold a thousand songs. And then maybe a couple of years later, he says, I've got the internet, your email, and um, your messages all in the same device. Because transitioning from a world where the only way to access the internet was from a stationary computer to one where your internet, your music, and even television was in your front pocket is a representative of that linear change I'm talking about. We are not going back to the world of just desktop computers. So therefore, we are not going back to a pre-COVID um, you know, uh, COVID, um, normal. So the same can be said in, in this area that we're now in, the post-pandemic new normal. Everything from business processes to, 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 to the behavior of our customer will forever be altered. Here in Australia, a lot of people were given access to their super and they were given access to um, their, um, you know, uh, job keeper, which is two financial things that brought a bit of safety and sanity to them. And they conducted all of these things via the mobile phone. Now you tell me that somebody who has done two of the most important transactions in their entire life from a mobile phone is not going to use it to buy pizza. So our customer behavior has forever been altered, even in the smallest ways, you know? So we need to now start identify. Um, what what trends are coming in? I, I think the the more educated people call them hard trends and soft trends in order for us to actually pre-solve problems before they start occurring. You know. You know, I'm looking forward to the next 25 years because as our society grows, it it, it rewards those with ideas more and more. So if you're sitting on any ideas right now, if you're sitting on any information or if you're sitting on any problem solving, um, you know, aspect, put them out there. There's no time to wait. The longer you wait, somebody's going to come up with the idea and then you will then join the queue of other people who would have said, oh, wait a minute. That was my idea. Have you ever been at a dinner and, um, you know, you always have that uncle who, if he had um, done something, he would have been the one who came up with the idea for Amazon or for Facebook or for Airbnb. Why didn't you do it? Because ideas are a dime a dozen. We have to implement. You know, take, for example, a small restaurant that uh, pivoted during uh, COVID and they were doing that curbside pickup upon the, 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 the global shutdown just for them to continue to operate. You know, all of his regular patrons, um, you know, would ring up and then they'll go and pick up on the site. You know, and they started creating uh, COVID-friendly menus. I remember this pizza place that would give you ingredients for you to uh, make a, a, a pizza. You know, it was like the dough and then the ingredients all together. And then it was like, make your own pizza. And they were selling that. And they kept in front of mind of their customers. Now, if a small, um, you know, $20 product can be pivoted like that. Now, can you imagine all your transformation content, all your consulting, all your training, all your information and all your expertise that is actually out there to change people's lives that you're just sitting on or is sitting on your hard drive and is gathering digital dust. 
Look at this. If a small restaurant was making enough to get by and then some with this innovative business pro uh, you know, process that was never before considered. Imagine when you when 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 they can actually open their doors to a full house of um, you know, people coming in just because they were there when they were needed the most. And what would stop them? So this is not new. You know, there are hotels that are offering day rates to uh, remote workers. You know, some people can't work from home without distractions. So there's hotels that are offering people to just use unused rooms as office space for their virtual workers. Isn't that clever? Their grocery stores becoming warehouses. Instead of people going into a grocery store, the grocery store is now just piling up stuff and they're using uh, online ordering only. So that keeps their employees safe and they can organize um, their orders without uh, customers walking around. And a lot of people have gone online. You know what I mean? So our consulting, where we're just sitting in front of somebody, you know, we can actually take that online and really create businesses that are um, limitless with no borders. You know? We are living in, in, in the digital, uh, you know, frontier where we can experiment with a lot of things and still get away with it. You know why? You could just blame it on the pandemic. I mean, your business right now has just been through one of the worst economic obstacles in, in history. So you want to keep refining on whatever innovations or whatever intuition that you got along the way. And the more unique strategies that you come up with, man the the better you would have um, actually future proofed your business because i know even after covid 19 i don't know what what year you're listening to this uh from but these years and years and years of more variants that are going to come in more different um you know uh, variations of the disease booster shots all of that stuff So even if we move way beyond COVID-19 and the years from now, if we look back at 2020, um, you know, it was one of the most formidable opponents to humankind, but we survived. So do not squander opportunity, um, you know, to not only stay ahead of your game at this event, because disruption is always going to be happening. And now that we know, um, you know, we've actually tasted the worst of it all because during World War One, guess what? People would hear than I mean, uh, gunshots, and they would know not to walk over there. H how are people protecting themselves in COVID when the whole thing is in the air? So look at how we've survived one of the worst times, you know. And like I said, I'm looking forward to the next 25 uh, years because as our society grows it's going to reward those with um you know with ideas and the ones that implement them more and more because i i, I viscerally believe that our natural abilities and potentials will shine a light on many of the problems that humans are facing and if we anticipate them before they come through man we will be the champions of the next frontier So Live Long Digital, obviously, uh, and, and, and the new frontier, we want to champion ideas and help you reach as many of your audiences as possible, um, you know, by making sure that um, they can find you when they're searching for your activities. And how can this new frontier, um, you, know, um, you know, of the post-pandemic uh, benefit you and your business? We are moving towards, um, you know, areas that nobody has ever been before. So this is your opportunity. You know, I've got a friend who lives in London and he always talks about old money and how it's hard to penetrate, um, you know, long uh, establishment. But the status quo has been wiped out. This is our opportunity for new minds, new money, new ideas to actually come in and say, hey, this is what we've been working so hard to create. We've been studying, we've been learning about all of these things. But when it came, we froze like a deer with headlights. Not anymore. 
You know, we now need to uh, engage our anticipatory minds because this is going to happen again. So don't ask about the new normal. Forge the next normal. I can't wait to high five you when we've actually gone past maybe three or four or five years and you are actually the leader in your industry. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.